In this video, we'll take this website and turn it into this website using some very cool AI tools. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I hear so many people are saying that AI is the death to creativity, but I wanna show you that this is the exact opposite. You see, up until a few years ago, when a client wanted a web design and didn't have a huge budget that would allow you custom photography or 3D artists or illustrators, all you have to deal with was using stock photography. And this is exactly what we have in this website. We have generic stock photography that is really not unique to this brand it actually feels hollow because it's very clearly stock photography and it's not really creative. Even the icons that we have here are very generic and they have nothing to do with, I guess, the brand. If you look at the logo for the brand language. And so we're going to take this and try to make it better in just 20 minutes. Let's do it. All right. So the first thing I want to do is replace this hero image, which is generic to something that is more unique and relevant to this Texas based insurance company. So the first thing is to think about a concept. Now, there are a million ways to start brainstorming concepts. But one of them, one of the basic ones is to think about metaphors for what it, what it is that you're trying to convey in this case, insurance, something that is supposed to protect you, right? So my first thing was to maybe think about some kind of a protective shield or something like this, you know, in the size fight fiction of uh, movies, you've got these shields that are protecting a city or something like this. And you can already see here from the fact that Shutterstock, a stock photo image has this kind of an umbrella and a shield on a car, probably something insurance related. So we don't want to use something generic, but we have to make this unique and specific to our brand and our company. And actually looking at these images, that remind me of something else. That remind me of these snow globs that we had when we were kids, right? You still have here like a house and it's protected in kind of like this protected bubble. So this idea actually made me think, let's create this, but in the Texas environment. So went into free pick my favorite image generation tool at the moment. And I just started with the first prompt, 3D rendering of a Texas home inside of a protective snow bubble, uh, rainbow reflection on a white background. And I got these first batch of four, which is okay, I guess, but this modern house is not exactly what I'm looking for. So I try to start iterating on the prompt, right? I've added traditional Texas home and add that and got that. And okay, maybe that's a little better. Then I thought th about the fact that they have house insurance, but also car insurance and life insurance. So I've said, hey, let's add a car and a family, right? So like a family waving and a pickup truck. And I feel like this is starting to become more interesting. Um, in this in this phase, I tried isometric view, this kind of like an animation or 3D rendering. But then I said, let's try something maybe photorealistic. Um, and we got this and one more thing, by the way, that I noticed is that because I use the term snow globe, we got a lot of snow, which we actually don't have in Texas. So uh, it needed to add to the prompt without snow, right? So at this paint, uh, at this stage, I actually use this AI prompt to make the prompt a little bit more comprehensive. And that gave me a lot more. Um, yeah, I, I really like this direction. And the next thing I wanted to try is try different yeah, try different models. So you can see here that FreePick basically gives me a bunch of image models, right? Mystique, Ideogram, Flux, and each of them renders the prompt completely different. So this one, so far I've only been trying this, uh, you can see here with Mystique 2.0. And now I wanted to see, let's see what Flux does. So these are the ones rendered with Flux. These are the ones rendered with Ideogram. And as you can see, they look quite different. They give you kind of like a different results. Now, note what I'm doing right now. Some people might say, oh, you're just clicking buttons and that's not creative. But this is the exact design process that you would do as a designer, whether you're trying different fonts, different colors, different layouts, or actually trying to go through stock images to pick the right assets for you. This is an iterative creative process where you're trying something else, moving this a little bit, changing something to try to find the right thing that is going to convey the right message for you. So kept doing this, said, hey, actually, maybe after trying all the different models, maybe on the black background, because we've got the brand colors, I would say are black, white, and red here. So maybe a black color would actually work well for us. Although this is pretty cool. I think this image is, is really nice for like a dark mode, but 
I think like if we're gonna go with too dark, at the end of the day, I feel like insurance should be light and more maybe, um, yeah, more m maybe optimistic. So out of everything that I've got so far, I actually think that the best one here so far is this one. We've got this nice family. The house is like modern, traditional. We've got the pickup track here. So I feel like this is something that we can definitely work with, but this is not the end, right? This is a good starting point. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hit edit image and I'm going to take this to the free pick editor. And then I've got a few things I want to change here. Number one, I don't want this uh, plant in the background because I basically want to have uh, an empty limbo where we can place the text and everything. So let's go ahead and go to the erase tool here. And I'm just going to select very broadly here, this plant and select it this way, and then just gonna hit erase. It's gonna come up with a few options for me. Hopefully one of them is good. Yeah, actually the first one is, is actually good, so I can go ahead and save that. The other thing, I, I think this is really nice, this is really beautiful, but again, looking at the brand color, how can we make this even a little bit more specific to this brand? If this brand has, let's say, red as their brand color, Let's see if we can incorporate that. We've got this white um, base, I guess, for this globe here. Let's go to the retouch and select that very quickly. And this way. And then I'm just gonna write here in the prompt red and let's see what that does. All right, the first one, second one looks Actually, both of them are not perfect. Let's try to generate a few more. Ooh, yeah, this one looks really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna save this one. And okay, I think we've got the basic image that we can work with. Uh, maybe the last thing that I'm going to do is resize this because here we basically, I imagine that the image is going to be on the right side and then we need a lot of background, both from left and the right, that is going to be clean so that we can add the copy on top of it. So let's close this, let's close this. Let's extend the background here. Um, actually, both, maybe on both sides. And uh, let's just hit expand here. Yes, resize the image. Most likely it's not gonna be enough, but at least it's going to be a good start. Okay, so we've got that. I think we can go ahead and save that. So we've got a good image to get started with. I'm gonna download this. Actually, I might wanna go ahead and upscale this to get a better resolution of this before I bring this into Figma. So let's close this. Let's go here into the upscale and then go here into their classic. And yeah, bring this to 2K resolution standard. All right, let's go ahead and upscale this. It's gonna take a minute. Fantastic, and we've got the upscaled image. I'm gonna download that, and I'm gonna bring it into my Figma artboard. So I've made a duplicate of our website. Now, when we bring this in, it's gonna be a good, actually a good time to start fixing this. I do think that this uh, hero image is a little bit too narrow, and I think maybe let's take this next section out and just have this hero section. When we're landing on the website, we just have the main image and uh, copy here and maybe just the services or the types of uh, insurance that they're doing, but I don't really need to see the next section so far. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got this, actually I can, let's see this container, let's bring this up exactly. And this image here, actually, let's get rid of the image. We also don't need this gradient, I think. We just put this new image on top of it. Let's just drag the image in here. Okay, so already starting to look better. So we've got, we can put the image here. I can see that I do need more space on the left here. So at this point, I think I'm just going to open it up in Photoshop and I'm just gonna extend it this way. It's super, super easy. I'm just gonna hit generate. Okay, and let's bring this new image in here. Let's take this whole image and bring it here. Fantastic bring it here. 
Super, that looks good. Now, before we go into the next section, let's deal with this thing that we have here. And I just wanna say something in general. When you have a website and a hero section in the website, you don't start by saying something like request a quote, okay? Um, this is just call to action too fast, too fast. You probably want to say something about the value proposition or what is this um, website that we're visiting right now. So you, you definitely want to change this from request a quote to something like, let's think about what it's like protecting uh, everything you love, right? This is what they're doing. This is the value proposition. So let's try that protecting everything you love. Yeah, let's... Of course, uh, let's try to maybe just set this up uh, nicer. Of course, this is, we can play around with this forever. Um, and maybe this is too, too bold, but I'm a fan of big typography. This one we can definitely make actually smaller. Um, and we can even tighten that up. Even this button... By the way, black on red is not a great idea. I should probably turn that into white. So these are just like generic or basic graphic design. Um, yeah, improvements that can definitely improve what's going on here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not spend too much time on this. But this probably looks better right now. I would even make this bigger, you know? I think this can be better this way. And I feel like it resonates more with, you know, the bold typography of the logo. So I feel like this, yeah, this looks better. Okay, let's look at the second section that we have here. So we've got these icons, which again, are very generic. And ideally, I would like them to look something like We've got in the logo here, which is outline. It's a little bit more sharp and geometric. So for this, I'm going to go and use Recraft. Recraft is another AI tool that I like. And the great thing about Recraft is that it generates vector icons or vector images. So that's really great for things like icons. So in this case, I'm going to start a new project. And I have here an image set, which is really great because you can pick one style and generate multiple things that you want. Like in this case, we need one, two, three, four, five icons. So let's pick up the style first. So I can go here. Let's see what we've got under icons. Maybe an outline is what we need in this case. And we can even further um, style this. Wait, I didn't pick the right one. Outline is what we need. Apply. Fantastic. Okay. So now what we got... Um, let's, let's give this a try. Let's say geometric, uh, geometric car. Actually, I want geometric everything. Geometric home. What else do we have? Commercial is calculator. Okay. Geometric calculator. Uh, geometric heart. Heart. What else do we have? And geometric umbrella. Geometric umbrella 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 who knows all right okay so this is interesting i don't know if they're all good ones for what we need and if we want to explore further for example this one geometric calculator um i don't know i would remove the calculator i would try the recraft again and see if it gives us something better so you can keep experimenting here until you find something that, you know, is better. Maybe sharp, sharp calculator. Because this is round corners and all the rest is a little bit sharp, which I like. I actually think this looks better. Um, and this is a little bit too complex. Let's try to create a new version of this and see if we get something else. So now I can go ahead and pick between the different versions that we have here. I actually like this one better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this, export this as an SVG, and uh, download it and bring it up into Figma. And let's go ahead and bring all of them inside. 
All right, so I've added the icons into Figma. And the last thing that I thought would be cool to do is because of this globe, um, it actually might look pretty cool to turn this into a video that it would rotate. So I went to um, Runway ML and I threw in the image with the prompt, the, uh, the camera rotates around the bubble while the people are celebrating and waving hello. And this generated this video here. It actually turned the image into a video, which I thought is actually pretty cool. So brought that into Figma and basically masked the video over this area. And here we got the results, which I think for 20 minutes of a redesign, this is quite impressive. Previously, if you didn't have a huge budget or tons of time, you would not be able to do something this creative and fun with a web design. I hope you learned something and I hope you're excited to be more creative with the new tools that we have available for us.